All right, what's going on YouTube? It's DJ Show One King Legend coming at you here. All right, from you've seen the title, you already know what we're about to do, all right? We're gonna build a on the budget sound system, a three-way system at that, for under $1,900, all right? So, from you've seen the price list, you already know what I'm working with. I'm gonna work with the Behringer iNuke NU12000, and I'm gonna work with the iNuke NX4-6000, that's a four channel amplifier. Or better yet, if you can find an NU4-6000, okay? That's also by Behringer iNuke, all right? And now the iNuke NU4-4000, I mean 6000, go for anywhere from uh, 349 to 499, all right? So the new one, the NX4-6000 is 499, all right? But if you can find you the older model NU4-6000, that would be better, okay? So that one goes from anywhere from uh, probably 349 to um, about $400 used if you can find one. I mean, that was actually the new price, but now, you know, it's a little bit too late. They don't make them anymore. So if you can find one, that's great, all right? But if not, you're gonna spend anywhere from probably 300 and up, all right? Because they don't make them anymore. But you can still find you an iNuke NU12000, okay? All right, so the price range on that is anywhere from 500 to 550 brand new, all right? Just do your research. I can give you a hint where they're selling them right now for about 500 and some change. All right, that's Reverb.com, all right? Reverb.com. All right, you check that site out. Or even on eBay, they have some going on there for about 500, 550, so forth, or whatever. Um, it's best to buy these amplifiers brand new, all right? I'm not going to tell you to go out there and buy them used, all right? Because they're, you know, sensitive amplifiers. You know, they're good, but they're sensitive. You know, you don't want one that's been beat up already. You want one nice and new, all right? All right, you'd be the first to beat it up. Okay, so like I said, under $1,900, I'm gonna show you some equipment that we'll be uh, working with here. We're gonna start with the Furman. You can get one for probably about $150 used on eBay or so forth. Um, we're gonna go with the DBX PA2. You can get one of those for about $439. All right, brand new. Um, if, or the Behringer DCX2496, all right? Those go for about 399 brand new, all right? I would prefer you buy the DBX or the Behringer um, sound system processes brand new, okay? Because a lot of people don't know what they're doing and they, uh, they mess them up and so forth. And, you know, you just don't want to take the chance with those type of uh, digital equipment, all right? So try to get one of those brand new if you can, all right? And we're also going to work with, uh, second but not least, the BBE882i, okay? You can get one of those for about $150 on eBay. All right. Um, you, may, you may find one on Craigslist also, all right, if you're lucky. All right, you might find those on Reverb also. So just check around, do some research. All right, that's the BBE882. All right, and last but not least, Try to get you a DBX equalizer or similar. It doesn't have to be a uh, DBX, but try to get something uh, of the DBX quality, all right? Um, I know Behringer makes EQs also, but just, uh, you're getting a used one, it's not too much. Just try to get a DBX, all right? Um, they go for about $150. Here's one right here, what it looks like. It's a 231S, all right? It's a 31 band. All right, stereo or mono, whatever you want to do, okay? And try to get one of those, all right? So um, let's see what we have here, all right? We're gonna do the Furman first, all right? Let's see if I can get this uh, marker to work right. Try this one. We'll do the Furman first, all right? We'll do the DBX. Um, we'll do the BBE, okay, and we'll do the EQ, all right, and we're also going to do, 
I knew they knew they knew four six thousand and we're also gonna do the NU 12,000, okay? All right, so this is your equipment in the rack, all right? This is one space, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so possibly uh, 10 space should be good enough to fit all this in. So one, two, three, four, Eight. Okay, so 10 space will be just right, all right? It's about eight, but um, we'll do 10 space, all right? Okay. This is your rack, all right? Let me just put some knobs on our amplifiers here. All right, this is the I loop. All right, this is the 12,000. And what we have here, the I loop. Uh, 6,000. We have here the EQ. Alright, DBX. Okay, we have here. Uh, we have the BBE. Let's do some knobs on this one. Alright, BBE. And let's do the DBX. Uh, a little screen here. Alright, DBX. And here's our Furman right here. We'll do some knobs, all right, Furman. All right, you get the drift, all right? So, go with a 10 space rack. All right, so I did that just to let you see how it comes together, right? 10 space rack. Um, now this $1,900 bill is already saying that you already have a controller. You already have a small, you know, um, mixer or some for, you know, eight channel, 16 channel, you know, the chain out into your uh, equipment, okay? All right, so, so here we have it. Um, Three-way, uh, let's do budget, all right? Budget sound system. System, okay? It's gonna be hard to beat the system, okay? Some guys will say, oh, well, I go with Barons. All right, oh, okay, all right, well, see. If you watch my channels, if you know me, I only talk about what works. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go by books and all that nonsense. I'm gonna go by what has worked out in the field. You understand what I'm saying? So the Behringer has been put to the test and it's reliable and it's powerful, okay? I mean, for the, for the dollar, you can't beat it, all right? Bang, best bang for your buck, all right? So that's why I decided to do the eye move, all right? Okay, so three-way system. Let's see what we have here. Let's build some, um, let's build some base cabinets, all right? All right, we're gonna go with some 18s that this system is gonna play. I'm gonna show you what this system can play, okay? We're gonna go with some 18s here, all right? We're gonna go with four, 418s, all right? How does that sound? 418s. Okay. Your Arnuk NU12000 will play 418s with no problem, all right? Um, for mids, let's go with, uh, wanna go with some 12s? All right, we can go with some 12s. Let's go with, um, two 12s in each box and a horn, all right? Horns will play with tops. All right, so let's go with some 12s. All right, you want your horns in the box or out of the box, all right? And let's put them in the box, is it? Let's do a box like everybody else has, okay? Let's do, let's do the 12s and let's do the horns, okay? Okay. All right, let's do the 12s. All right. Okay, let's do the horns. Okay. All right, excuse my rush drawing here. I can draw a little better, but uh, we're rushing for the video, all right? Okay, 
All right, so this is four 18s. Okay, the eye nuke is gonna play these four 18s. Um, I'm gonna look like a super scoop. We can do that, okay, there we go. Okay, let's put the grills on here. All right, so now this price is not including your speakers, all right? I think we'll do another video on speakers, um, best speakers. I mean, if you watch some of my videos, you know the speakers I recommend. But we'll do another video on the speakers, okay? Okay. There we go. Is this starting to look like a sound system? There we go. All right. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. What do we got here? Uh, yeah, let's follow that in. Let's put two handles on here because this baby's gonna be heavy. All right. Um, okay. All right. Let's put some handles on that. All right. Okay. So now, this is your four four base. And you have your mids, all right. Let me go here. Mids, 12 inches. You have your horn compression driver. Okay. Okay. And you have your base. Okay. And you. 12,000, all right, and you four, 6,000, okay? Now remember the NU4 is a four channel amplifier, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have two channels, the right side playing the mids, all right? Right, okay? And you're gonna have the left side of the um, I nuke. Let's go NU for 6,000. Okay. So you have the two left channels playing the highs, and you have the right channels playing the mids. Okay. All right. You may ask, what's the wattage of the NU 4,000? I have it all written down here. Let me let you. See that, I already showed you. All right, the NU4-6000, okay, at eight ohms is 440 watts, okay? At four ohms is 860 watts. At two ohms, you're getting 1600 watts, okay? And at 13.4 pounds, okay? So these are very lightweight amplifiers, all right? So you may ask, okay, um, what kind of power am I gonna get to my 12s? Okay, don't go out and buy some 2,000 watt um, 12 inches. You don't need that, okay? Let's get um, the 1,000 watt drivers, okay? Let's do this. Um, uh, let's do let's do 1,200. 1,200 watt drivers, okay? 1,200. Okay. And your horn, you know, 100 watts. Maybe 200 watts peak. So we do 200 on that, okay? 200. Okay. Now you want to know what what um what wattage woofers to get. Okay, let's do let's do some really good woofers, okay? Because you know you know my theory on uh bass. Get the best speaker you possibly can buy, okay? So we'll go with some, um, just for crying out loud, we'll do some B, C, B and C, uh, TBX 100s, okay? Okay, so that's rated about probably 2,000 watts, so we're going to figure 1,000 watts, continuous, all right, 1,000 watts. Okay. 
thousand what? Woofers. Okay. The BNC BNC TBX one hundred. All right. Now you may ask, what's the wattage on the iNuke twelve thousand? Okay. At eight ohms per channel, you're seventeen hundred watts. Okay, at eight ohms. Okay. At four ohms, you're thirty-four hundred watts. That's three thousand four hundred watts at four ohms. So four ohms is two speakers combined. It will be four ohms. Four ohms, right? You're getting three thousand four hundred watts. Mind you. The woofers are 2,000 watts, 1,000 watts continuous, let's say, so you're good. Let's check that off, okay? Right, four ohms. All right, looking at 3,400 watts. Okay, we're not overdoing it because uh, I know everyone will say, well, yeah, the, the iNuke NU12000 is not really 6,000 watts per channel at 2 ohms. Okay, all right, all right, let's shave that off. Um, nothing these manufacturers post is 100%, so we already know that, all right? So we can even knock the 1,000 watts off, okay? We're good, all right? So at 3,400 watts, if you want to knock 1,000 off, that's 2,500. You have a 2,000 watt speaker. You're 500 above, you're good. All right, let's check that off. You passed. Okay. Now on your mid-range, you're gonna get some 1200 watt speakers, which is gonna be about, say, 600 watts continuous. All right, maybe 500 watts continuous. All right, so we do 600 watts, right? 600 watts mids is pretty good if you're buying decent speakers. Try to get some uh, good voice woofers. Something like uh, Eminence, um, uh, Eminence model is good. You can do an EV model is good. Um, just, there's quite a few of them out there. You know, you don't have to go crazy buying some nice mids, all right? Mids are the easiest speakers to choose. I mean, just as long as your wattage is good and it's not a bassy type of speaker, it's some 12 inches of bassy. So you don't want one with a huge magnet. That's gonna be more of a woofer. That's a good way of telling. If it's going to be more of a, a base type of woofer, you want one with a normal size magnet, all right? That tells you that it's a mid-range, full range. You want a full range 12 inch, okay, pretty much. All right? So there you have it. Under $1,900, okay? $1,900. Okay? And we have you a nice system. All right? Uh, what else can I say? I mean, you can't beat it. $1,900. All right. Nice three-way system. If you need help hooking it up, I'll be glad to help. All right. But it's pretty much uh, as easy as it gets right now. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hold this up so you can take a good look at it. Nice, quick, easy three-way budget system. All right, this is one of the most asked questions I get. What's a good amplifier to, um, to use to build the first system? And there you have it, okay? Using the iNuke amplifiers. Now, if you have a little bit more cash on hand and you wanna, you wanna um, boost your power a little bit, I'm gonna tell you the next amplifier that you can use, all right? There you have it. CVR2004, you can replace the NU6000 with the CVR D3002. And I'll tell you the wattage here per channel at 8 ohms is 2000 watts. All right, that's at 8 ohms per channel. And mind you, this is a four channel amplifier. Okay, this is four channels. Okay, this is four channels. At eight ohms, you're gonna get 2,000 watts per channel. At four ohms, you're gonna get 3,400 watts per channel. At two ohms, you're gonna get 4,760 watts per channel. And the weight on these is 26.4 pounds, okay? I mean, it's a little bit more pricey than the iNotes, okay? This is not a, a budget build, but it's, it's still the next step up from the iNotes, okay? 
Not saying that the iNukes won't won't play. Kill it. They will. But here's another step up. If you want to go a little bit above, all right, you can go with the CVR models. And the price on those uh, D2004 is anywhere from 800 to 1200 Depends on where you get it from, okay? If you get it from the manufacturer, it'll be a little cheaper. If you buy it on Amazon, it's going to run you about $1,200, okay? On eBay, maybe about $1,200. Okay, here's the next amplifier. If you want to replace the iNuke NU12000, we can go with the CVR3002, okay? Um, even though this amplifier they're no longer making, they make the 3002, 33002 now. You can still find these on Amazon or eBay or wherever have you, or even from the manufacturer, they still have some in stock, okay? Um, we're not going to talk about that amplifier yet, so uh, let's stick with what we know right now. CVR3002, okay, the wattage per channel at 8 ohms. This is a two-channel two channel amplifier, okay? This is not a 4, this is a 2. The other one was a 4, this is a 2. At 8 ohms, it's 3,000 watts, okay? At 4 ohms, it's 5,100 watts, okay? That's 5,100 watts. At two ohms, it's 7,140 watts. Okay, and the pounds is uh, 26.8 pounds. And the price on these is anywhere from 950 to $1,300, okay? 950 to $1,300. Meaning you, it depends on where you get it from. If you get it from the manufacturer, you're looking at close to 950, you know, according to shipping and so forth, you can probably get it for that. If you buy it from Amazon or eBay or wherever else, you might get it for $1,300, okay? So I've kind of researched these to kind of give you a ballpark of where you're looking, all right? So this will no longer be a $1,900 build if you go with the CVR, just to let you know, okay? So the cheapest route to get you in the game is the Behringer iNuke amplifiers, okay? If you cannot find the NX, the NU model, the NX is available, okay? It's the NX, NX4-6000, okay? And this is iNUC. These are available. The NU4-6000 is discontinued. They no longer make this iNUC. So you will be on a scavenger hunt trying to find one. I've done a video of that amplifier years ago where I recommended it. So if you didn't get one, you're out of luck. But um, you can find a used one, but I'd love for you to find a brand new one because uh, I believe in buying those amplifiers brand new because they're such a good price. It doesn't make any sense to get a used one that someone else has already, you know, pretty much halfway destroyed so here you go and you four six thousand nine all right so this is the three-way budget sound system any questions just leave in the comment box uh, please subscribe please like please follow for more upcoming videos it's going to be a crazy new year lots of new reviews coming all right and uh stay tuned for my thursday live chat all right where i answer all questions Thanks for watching, DJ Show One King Legend. I'm out. All right, turn it up loud. And remember, help keep sound system culture alive. Share the knowledge. Thank you.